This episode of OGAT Chat is brought to you by the Woodforge. The Woodforge, your number one dealer of handmade battle-ready wooden swords for style or combat, training or decoration. Located at the Shrewsbury Renaissance Fair and on Facebook.com slash Organ Woodforge. Warning. The OGAT Chat Podcast contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of OGAT Chat, the number one of Guards and Thieves podcasts on the interwebs. I'm Ty, my name in OGAT is Lick the Taint, and this is... Luke, my name in OGAT is Kabato. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at a few reviews of the game. Isn't that exciting? We also have a new, because of this, we've adopted a new slogan that we totally didn't steal from another podcast. From now on, you're going to be hearing OGAT Chat, your number one source of news, views, and reviews. What do you think? That's a great, that's a great intro. It's a great introduction. I couldn't have said it better myself. Just like everything we do here at OGAT Chat, that was a completely original slogan. I don't take anybody else's content for any of our material. It's all produced by us. <laughs> Isn't that great? You are fake news, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. So on today's episode, we are going to be discussing some reviews. Hence the new slogan that I'm not pushing at all. Oh, and also, this is great. We also have a sponsor. And believe it or not, uh, we we do have our first corporate sponsorship. We are now officially sellout. Nice. Yeah, we sell our shit for money. Woohoo, go us. We're moving up in the podcast game. Okay, we're going to go over a couple reviews. This is going to be an interesting episode. Uh, we're not even going to do bug of the week this time. It's kind of a different uh, situation. So what we've done is Luke and I both went through and picked two reviews to go over each. Uh, and we're just going to compare and contrast i guess the reviews that we've chosen um mm -hmm. we're kind of running out of guides yes that is an open call people please write more guides for us to review because we there's a very limited number of guides on the game in the disco or the uh the steam community hub so please guys write more guides so we can keep this podcast going we are poor and starving and every one of these episodes now that we're sponsored is our entire income so you have to support us okay i do Thanks. not want to starve live under a bridge in a cardboard box my wife will kill me <laughs> thanks to this new sponsorship i was able to buy a single bottle of water not much but it'll keep me alive for the next few days. And it's gone. Make that one day. You'll be fine. Well, I'm but drinking salt. Donate to our... In five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> donate to our Patreon. Donate to our Patreon. It... Life sucks. Get over it. Buy merch now. That's our, that's our Patreon. Woohoo. All right. Let's go through our reviews. You can start. What was the first review of, uh, of Guards and Thieves? Go over uh, whether or not it was recommended, how many hours the player that reviewed it has on record and whatnot, when it was posted, you know, comments if it has it. Go through everything. Okay. This one is recommended. It ha It's, you know, his record hours are almost 50, 49.5 hours. It was posted on August 3rd, 2015 at 11.37 p.m. Um, 12 people found it helpful. Five people found it funny. And the review goes as this. Wait, ho hold on. Who's the, the author? Oh, yeah. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> kind of important. Jay Bisner. Jay Bisner? Jay Bisner. All right. Take it away. The first thing I want to say about this game is that I'm a grown man, and playing this game makes me giggle like a smaller-than-average Japanese girl. The gameplay is fast and addictive, piles of content even at this early stage, and the cherry on top, map editor coming soon. So this was pre-map editor. This is a pre -map editor. with the Japanese giggles? <laughs> That's the point. That was why it's funny. That's why I picked it. 
<laughs> makes mm. them small makes them giggle like a some less like a smaller than average Japanese girl. I like First it. First of all, okay, I'm a grown man. I prefer the term otaku. Otaku? <laughs> <laughs> he does have an anime picture for his <laughs> theme. Of course he does. Uh what you're the anime guy, tell us. What is the anime picture from? I have no clue. To be Did he stump I you? Mean, he is more no, weeb than you. Does that insult no, I, your weebdom? No, I know what the anime is. It's just I don't know the name of it. Oh shit! I've seen like episodes of it. It's just fucking the name eludes me. Oh, if anybody knows what this anime is from, please inform me. Any of our viewers, please look at the screen right now. Look at the logo that you're viewing. <laughs> look at the screen. Tell us. Right here. Top what left is this corner, from? Right by his name. What's that from, please? Thank you. Could you leave it in the comment section below? Whoever does that will receive a free $500 gift card to the Wood Forge. Ah, yes. That may or may not be true. May or may not be true. And yeah, speaking of Wood Forge, let's roll right into the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sponsorship round two. No, um... They sponsored us four times in this episode, so we better make it last. I do, uh, <laughs> the paychecks have got to keep rolling in. Is yeah. there any comments or anything, or is that kind uh, of... No, sadly, there's no comments on this. That's a pretty good review. Yeah. All right, mine's a lot simpler than that. So the first review I picked, uh, it's by this fellow named Stiku. Stiku? Stiku? Yeah. Six people found this review helpful. It is a recommended review. The person in question, the author, has 3.6 hours on record. So he's quite well-versed in the game, you could say. This review was posted November 10th, 2018 at 4.18 p.m. Early access review. And, the, and what it says is, okay, this is epic. That's all. Nice. And now Ben Shapiro wants to know my location. My uh, Ben Shapiro memes have just uh, introduced themselves onto the podcast. Nice. Yeah, I, I think it's a good review. It's short, sweet, to the point. It uh, gets its it's point across guy. real quick. Uh, the man of few words, that's DQ. Quite revered in the OGAT community. Move along. I'm running out of shit to say. Take us on. What's the next thing? Uh, I think... This review is by Saylid underscore dressing. Um, it's a recommended. He has 2.3 hours on record. 13 people found it helpful. 11 found it funny. It was posted on December 12th, 2017 at 9.06 a.m. And the review goes like this. How to win easy uh, turn off light in room you're in turn off flashlight hide and plant when bad people come to kill you jump out and plant and kill them such easy no that's it <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good dude your reviews are way better than mine yeah and oh, the comment saying that there's uh, one put comment a pin in that statement okay take it away <laughs> put a pin in it there's one comment by Cloak Eerie Bumblebee posted on January 7th, 2018. Fairly recent. Recent. Okay. Uh, at 10.02 p.m. And the comment goes like this. Yes. That's, that's all. That's quite insightful. I know. So it just adds a whole nother layer to this review. I really Great feel enlightened right now. Like I, I'm, I'm sitting at the top of the mountain. My fingers are in the. Uh, My fingers monk, run through the grass. Almost you lost the game position, and I'm at peace. As my fingers run through the grass, I look up at the mo fellow monk in front of me, and he is blessing me with all of his inner energy as he <sighs> breathes out a mighty breath. He lifts his arms into the praise the sun position. <sighs> And then a beam of light strikes me down on that point. And then all, all the energy from the grass just absorbs up through my legs into my chest. I can feel the warmth from both the sunlight and the energy of the grass coming into my heart. 
and then I breathe out the mighty breath, releasing a mighty roar, which reaches Shrek in his farthest swamp. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, what? Oh, shit. I, w- I, I was I'd really be- in peace there for a second. My God. I was getting some real think- positive ASMR. I think I would be really good at fucking like writing a book if I ever wanted to. <laughs> yes, that <laughs> was like, very a bullsh- detailed. A bullsh- and- you took me away to a faraway place where the monks live and all the energy absorbs through your feet. <laughs> you, <laughs> write the book. I will record the audio for you. Got and, it. Uh, we can be Audible. millionaires just like that. We can, Ooh, it's we that can sell it on Audible. We can have a sponsorship with Audible. Wow. Sorry, Woodforge, but fuck you guys. We're moving up in the world. Audible, if you're listening, sponsor us. Sponsor Next episode. Me, baby. <laughs> All right, I got one more review. This is the last one, the final review. This review is, uh, let's see, one person found this review helpful. Uh, The author in question has 113.7 hours on record. The review was posted November 24th, 2017 at 11.10 a.m. It is an early access review by Gray Socks. And this review says simply, a game of shoot and don't be shot. And I couldn't sum up the game in a better sentence than that. Well, I've read this review before. And if you look at I'm pretty sure someone commented on it before. You're correct. There's a comment. There's a single comment on the review. It is from Flat Mars Theory. And it says, you idiot, this is a game of shot and don't be shoot. <laughs> I think that sums it up better, to be completely honest. I, I got to agree. This Flat Mars Theory guy... What a genius. The gray socks guy? Ah, what a dumbass. I hope I never I meet know, him in right? real life. Fucking gray socks is fucking sounds like a fucking loser. While flat Mars theory, theory seems like the epitome of all men. They re- you can't get any better than that. Sorry, but no, this is the not. peak of male mental performance. Exactly. Well, how about that? Quick episode for a few reviews and uh Yeah, we're going to probably keep this new format since we're running out of guides. We're running out of all kinds of stuff. So we're probably going to keep shorter episodes just to keep pumping them out so that we don't have to devote as much time on uh, days off of work or weekends or whatever. So uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, No, other than have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah.